Very nice to see you, my little songbird. <laughs> <laughs> that was Beautiful Dreamer, wasn't it? You know, I, I, I always feel sort of funny because the last time you were here, you, I, you didn't find my shoes. I wore my hip jacket for you, however. You did? Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> well, Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought I did. Yes, isn't this what all the guys are wearing? Mm. I never know. <laughs> yes. No, not all of them. Not all of them, really. Say, you've got a group now, and naturally, as you can see, Janice was not on stage alone, and I never mention their, their name. name. Yeah, it's name. important. It's sort of silly of me to slap them off Full like... Full Tilt Boogie. Full Tilt Boogie is the actual name of the group? Janice yeah. Joplin and... No, just Janice Joplin, Full Tilt Boogie. One long word. Yeah. What does the title mean? Anything uh, hard to... What does the title mean? It means... Yeah. Boogie, man. The, but where does the phrase full tilt boogie come from? Is that from, a, from a friend of mine who walked into the dressing room one night and said, is everybody ready for full tilt boogie? Yeah? <laughs> what if he'd yelled something horrible? Would you have called the group that? <laughs> no. He yells a lot of horrible things, and we just picked that one. <laughs> That's good. From amongst the many things he says. Say, lately, you know, uh, rock has been in the news because every... There have been rock concerts where a, a riot... Have you ever been at a concert where a riot broke out? Or have you ever been at a riot that turned into a concert? Or uh, What am I trying to say? It's the well, coffee you gave me that affected me. None of the, uh, none of the shows I've ever played have had, ever had any trouble, save one in uh, Philadelphia where a, a cop clubbed a girl for trying to kiss me. And I didn't dig it. A fan who just tried to get... Yeah, a girl just wanted to say, oh, you know, I love you, and a cop... Dush, bang, throw her away. They, sometimes they overreact. But mm -hmm. I can dig where uh, an audience would get uptight if they bought tickets and nobody came except them, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, there, there are those performers who don't have a totally professional uh, sense of responsibility, <laughs> uh, aren't there? <laughs> they call hippies, yeah. <laughs> well, well, not necessarily. I don't want you to cast aspersions on my hippie friends. <laughs> I, uh, wait a minute, can you hold on here for just a moment? Because I have now, I, it's a point where I have to say something. I have to hold up something. How about the Bank of America? What can I hold up? Oh, oh this. No, there's a sign, mine. no, there's a very confusing sign that says hold up Those something. Mine. They're yours? I think I I swear. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, it said, said hold up glasses, and I... Now brace yourselves for one of the zaniest westerns yet, starring a bunch of very seedy gunslingers in Foster Grant Clip-On's Watch. I heard that you have a peculiar limousine service. Someone mentioned that. To me. What does that mean? You have... This, it's Love Limousine, run by a really groovy dude named John Fisher, who has... The car is all... The windows are purple. Yeah. No one has 13 speakers all mounted around. This yeah. is in a limousine? Yeah. 13 and speakers? And a big tape deck with all everybody you want to hear. And you just get in and you're like in an isolated environment with all this fantastic music coming in your brain. And w then when you wake up, you're at the airport or, you know, <laughs> wherever you have to go to. Do you ever feel odd riding in a limousine? I always sit in the front seat. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I mean, it's, so, it's funny to think of... <laughs> What's funny about the front seat? When you're going to limousine, you're supposed to, you're supposed to lay back in the back seat. I know, but you feel... I'll sit up in the front seat so I can look at everybody, you know? Don't you ever feel funny when people, you know, it stops for a light and people stare in if you're, the time, when you're riding in a limousine and they go, yeah, you know. No, he's and a very even good... worse things. He's a very good driver. The driver's good. Is he, they're all afraid of him on the street. <laughs> That's how you know he's a good driver. Yeah. <laughs> what, nobody, what yell, nobody yells at us. Uh -huh. I call that pretty... Good. That is good. Do you ever water ski? No. no. I don't. No. I don't think I've seen a lake in about eight years, man. <laughs> really? No, we flew over one last week. I don't. No. Yeah. I'm not much on 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 sports. Did I seem to walk strangely as I came out here tonight? Hmm. I should have watched closer. <laughs> well, and you were back no, there, but yeah. I, did, I, I water ski for the first time over the weekend. Did you, did you get and up? I, I, that's what they always ask, isn't it? I water ski. <laughs>
I know. Well, that's the sensitive thing. I water, <laughs> I water skied 15 times for approximately eight seconds each, <laughs> each time, and I had to quit. I mean, I, I have muscles that I it's you would never arm. use in real life that hurt. Well, that's why I don't do it. Yeah, why why bother? But next time, I know that it's going to work. Uh, it's just that I, I did finally get up, but I, I keel hauled myself. I think a couple of times. Do you know what keel hauling is? I have no idea. No. In the old days when they used to, in the pirate days, they would drag a guy behind a ship. Really? Yeah. They did it in Mutiny on the Bounty. Sorry. And I, I was down and I, do you want to hear about this? Oh, I'd love, yeah. <laughs> Show me, how were you? Can you contain yourself? How were you? How was I? Here, you pretend this is the robe. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know about it. Well, this was the thing you hold on to. Oh, yeah. When right. you're down like this, right? And you get, you got both legs up like that. And I, the boat started off and I stayed that way. <laughs> so I, it, it takes, That's pretty it take, uncomfortable. Every, the whole ocean was, was fighting every muscle in my body. The people had said they had never seen anything like it. No one, it. no one told me to stand up. I couldn't, I couldn't see what the fun of it was. <laughs> Would you care to, oh, have you had any problems with, how are your press relations? Do you have any problems with um, interviews and that kind of stuff? Well, other than having to do them when you don't feel like it, yeah. and other than having to talk to someone who doesn't seem to understand what you're saying, mm -hmm. consequently the words coming out a little stranger than you meant them, no. No. <laughs> yeah. How'd you like your foster grants? I'm, I'm uh, fantastic. Oh, yeah. I'll put some of your case, because I lose them all the time. Do you? Yeah. Yes, hello, foster grant. Say, do you... <laughs> Send me a case of purple sunglasses. I'm not allowed to solicit personal messages like that. Do you think that rock concerts have such a bad name now that they're gonna, it's gonna cut into the uh, business? No. I mean, uh, because there have been one or two riots. There haven't been that yeah. many, but no, there, been there have been many. a couple. And, uh, well, it's just like a problem of logistics, like uh, the same thing that happened to Hate ashbury mm -hmm. You know, uh, at the beginning, the, not many people knew about it. Consequently, it was just all nice and quiet. But then everybody found it was so groovy, they all wanted to come. Well, now mm -hmm. they're getting very big, and to have a good festival, I think you have to have a lot of organizational ability and a lot of talent, you know, and a lot of bread to put the thing together so it'll be, you know, even functionable for the uh, audience, let alone for the groups. Mm -hmm. You know, like you gotta have all that equipment and all that advertising and uh, all that bread and all those people and uh, all that kind of stuff. There ought to be maybe one group that specializes in staging them and planning them so that uh, people could There's call them in. There's several trying to do that, yeah, yeah, but not making it too good, though. Hmm. You know, but uh, the like there's, a couple, there's a couple coming off in uh, August, the 6th, I believe, and the 9th, the 6th in uh, Philadelphia, hmm. in Shea Stadium, and the 9th in Philadelphia. Uh, Beast festivals that Peter Yarrow sort of throwing together there. Hmm. A lot of groups are contributing their, their uh, services and they're gonna give all the bread to peace candidates, you know? They've got some real straight people to administer it so it isn't a rip-off, you know? <laughs> all right. You know what I mean? Yeah, not a lot of people in, in hip clothes like mine. <laughs>